In the 15th session, I showed how to raise uh, a two-digit number to the power of 3, that is, cubing a number like 14, and uh, this required setting down a geometric sequence using the ratio of the two numbers, 1 to 4. So, in this case, we put down 1 cubed, and then we use the ratio 1 to 4 and put down the next three terms of the sequence, like so. We then doubled these two uh, numbers to give 32 and uh, 8, and then added up to get the answer. And when adding up, you notice that this 4 is allowed here, and the 6 has to carry. And then we would have 14. Uh, 6 add 6 add 2 is 14, so that's 4 with a 1 to carry. And then this 5 has to carry across to the left. And then adding this, we'd have 17 with a 1 to carry and adding that makes 2. Now another way of setting that out is to say, OK, well, it's the last digit of each of these numbers which is going to fall into the right place value. Um, and so once this uh, geometric sequence is written down, we could set it out like this. Here we have 64. And then in this column, in the tens column, we need three lots of 16, which is 48. And in the next column here, we need three lots of 4, which is 12. And in the final column here, we have a 1. And then we can add these digits up to give 4, 14, 6, 7, and 2. And it's that setting out which I'm going to use to show how to raise uh, a number, a two-digit number, to a higher power. And of course it uses the binomial coefficients. The binomial coefficients for cubes are 1, 3, 3, 1. And for to the power of 4, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. To the power of 5, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So, let's have a look at 23 to the power of 4. The first uh, thing to do is to set down this digit, ray 2, raised to the power of 4. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16. And then we're going to use the ratio 2 to 3 to set up the next four terms of the uh, geometric sequence. Well, to use the ratio 2 to 3, we can halve 16 and then multiply by 3 to give 24. Halve 24 and multiply by 3. Half of 36 multiplied by 3 is 18. Multiplied by 3 is 54. And half of this is 27. Multiplied by 3 is 81. Because I'll set down the, the binomial coefficients above, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And that will tell, tell us how many times we need each of these uh, numbers. So, I'll set out 81. We just need 1 times 81 is 81. Starting in the tens column, working to the left from the right, we need 4 times 54, which is 216. In the next, starting in the next column, working to the right, we need 6 times 36, which is also 216. And in the next column, we need 4 times 24, which is 96. And in the next column, we need 1 times 16. And then we can just add up 1. 8 times 6 is 14. That makes 8. This is 9. 15, 17. And 2. So that's 23 to the power of 4. In the next example, I'll show 20, uh, 26 to the power of 4. Again, we put down uh, 2 to the power of 4 is 16. And this time the ratio is just 1, uh, is 2 to 6, which is the same as 1 to 3. So we just need to triple uh, these numbers. And 3 16s are 48. 3 48s, 144. 
3 times 144 is 432, and 3 times 432 is 1296. Again, we'll write down the binomial coefficients. We need 1 times uh, 1296, and we need 4 times 432. So 4 2 is 8, 4 3 is 12, that's 2 with 1 to carry, and that makes 17. 6 times 144, so that's 6 4 is 24. 6 4 is 24, add 2 is 26. Once 6 is 6, add 2 is 8. And then we need 4 times uh, 48, which is 192. And finally, 1 times 16. And then we can add up 6, 7 with 1 to carry. That makes 9, 8, 14, 15, 16. 10, 19, 25, and 4. Then we can um, also, as before, uh, show with uh, Winkelmann digits. So let's suppose that we need to find 39. 39 to the power of 4. And I can write this as 40 Winkelmann 1. So I'm going to write down I'm going to start with 4 to the power of 4, which is uh, 16 times 16, or 256. We've got to then multiply this by minus 1 quarter, so that's um, a quarter of 256 is 64, so write down Winkulum 64. And then multiply this by minus a quarter, and we get 16. Multiply this by minus a quarter, and we get minus 4. Multiply this by minus a quarter, we get 1. And then write down the binomial coefficients. So we need once 1 is 1. Then we need 4 times winky 4, which is winky 16. 6 sixteens are 96. Let me put that down. We have 4 times Winky 64 is Winky 256. And 1 times 256 is 256. So we add up, we get 1, Winky 6, 5, 3, 1, 3, 2. And then dewinculate to give the final answer 2, 3, 1, 3, Four, four, one. Well, let's now look at raising a number to the power of five. And some of the arithmetic can be a little bit tricky, and you wonder why. Well, why, why bother with this? Because you can just get it on your get the answer on your calculator easily enough. That's true. And um, but it, it's a bit like um, rock climbing. You may like to do rock climbing to climb a mountain, but uh, the quickest way to the top could be to get a helicopter. And then the question arises: to, Well, why why bother why bother climbing the rock when you can just get a helicopter to the top? Well, it's a challenge, and it's uh, also it reveals some understanding in this case of the binomial theorem. So I'm going to take an example, 34 to the power of 5, and here the ratio is going to be 3 to 4, which is a little awkward, but there we go. Now uh, we set down 3 to the power of 5, um, which is 81 times 3, it's 243. The next term in the sequence, divide this by 3 and multiply by 4. So divide this by 3 is 81, multiply by 4 is 324. Divide this by 3 is 108, multiply by 4 is 432. Divide this by 3 is uh, 1, 4, 3. I mean 1, 4, 4, sorry. Uh, multiply, multiply that by 4, and it's 288, it's, uh, it's 576. 
divide this by 3, um, well, 3 is 57, so that's 192. Multiply uh, 192 by 4, and we get 700, 768. And divide this by, th by, by 3, and we get uh, 3 into 7 goes 2, remainder 1. 3 into that goes 5, remainder 1. 2, 5, 6. And multiply this by 4, it's 1,024. So we have um, this geometric sequence consisting of six terms. And now we write down the binomial coefficients above, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, 4, raising a binomial to the power of 5. And so we need 1 times 1,024, so it's 1, 0, 2, 4. Uh, we then need 5 times 7, 6, 8. The easiest way to multiply a number by 5 is to halve it and then multiply by 10. So it's uh, 3, 8, 4, 0. 3, 8, 4, 0. Here we multiply this by 10, uh, which is 5, 7, 6, 0. And this by 5, uh, no, sorry, this by 10, 4, 3, 2, 0. 4, 3, 2, 0. And, and this by 5 is, half of this is 1, 6, uh, 1, 6, 2. So it's 1, 2, 6, uh, 1, 1, 6, 2, 0. Sorry, 1, 6, 2, 0. And finally, uh, 2, 2, 4, 3. And then we can add up. Uh, add up for the answer. So we get 4, and then 2, and then 4, and then 15, and then 10, 13, and then 8, 10, 14, and uh, 10, and 15, and 4. And that's 34 to the power of 5. And this method can be applied uh, to any two-digit number um, raised to any power. Of course, the arithmetic can be uh, really quite uh, onerous, but um, you can have a go at uh, have a go at it if you like.